Here is an aluminum arm slider style glider made by the Bunting Glider Company out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. These here have the aluminum arms and the metal body, so the metal back and seat. I think these were made from, I think it was like the late 60s to 70s after the wide arm gliders became a little bit more expensive to make. They were much lighter because of the aluminum arms. The other ones are a whole lot heavier. All right, there is the aluminum arm. This here is missing the slider pieces. So it's missing the, the bottom runners and the, um, I guess the arms and the springs that usually come down from the side here. And I'm hoping to get this thing put back together for the summer. And I'll try to show you that. I get a lot of questions about having extra parts, pieces to sell, what to do. And I don't have any extra parts to sell. I keep all those just in case I run into one that doesn't have the pieces. And um, there are springs that can come down off the sides. I usually get those at Lowe's. They're not exactly the same, but they work. And, um, ball bearings I've bought off eBay. They're usually the 5H, 5 5 inch ball bearings. And, um, they have, like, um, they go into the metal ball bearing holders, which are slightly different for each one. And really, if you don't have a metal ball bearing holder or any of those pieces, you can just try to stick the ball bearings in the runners and see if it'll glide that way. Put something on the very ends, the front and back, so they don't fall out. All right, I got this from my aunt and uncle from their farm. They have had it up in a falling down shed on their property about two years ago. My uncle said I could have it if I uh, pulled it out. I didn't get it out that year, but I got it out the year after and then had a uh, board hanging across the front of it and I thought it was going to be dented up right there, but it's not. Um, it is dented up on the ends on each side. And to me, the arms look like they're reproductions, but they might not actually be. I just never have had a slide or a glider that looks like that. Okay, um, let's see. The arms, well, the, the whole side leg here thing is bent. My husband said he might try to fix that. He might be able to fix it. I don't know. It's aluminum, so it probably should be able to be bent back. And um, the runners, which I don't have out here right now, they have the rubber feet on them. And I don't know where to get the rubber feet either. Sometimes I would just, you know, just recommend somebody taking a block of wood or something the same size and put it on, on all four corners. I've never taken a glider apart but um like there that arm is connected by what is that a um i'm not sure what that is actually called it's not a u-bolt i don't know a hook and eye i'm not sure i can't remember but um that's how they connect the arm the arms to this metal base let me throw this over Whoa, okay. And then there's a piece of bar, something hooked to the other part there. And then another one of those, um, or two other one of those things. I can't remember. Same thing for that side. 
So look for my next video if I get around to it. Uh, the parts that you actually need. And... Um... Hopefully how to stick this thing back together and some other ideas that I have. Alrighty. Yep, an aluminum arm slider because it slides on ball bearings. Slider style glider made by the Bunting Glider Company out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you.